Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Minecraft Subserver. Last night we had so much fun together and we have done an incredible amount of building, y'all. Oh my goodness. So, we are currently at the first village that we are renovating together on the Subserver. And for those of y'all who are new here, my Minecraft sub server is the multiplayer server where my Twitch uh, subscribers get to come and play with me. The best part is one of the privileges of this server is that everyone can come and play whenever they like. They don't have to wait for it to be my Friday live stream or even for me to be online. And I am just so amazed at all of the incredible work that my subscribers have done on this server even when I'm not on. And we accomplished so much together last night, y'all. As y'all can see, there is so much fencing already around the village. We were able to complete a full circuit of fencing around the, around the village. So it is completely fenced in and safe now. However, as you could see with the skeleton, oh my God, and there's a zombie on the roof. Really? Um, this keeps happening because as you can see, we don't have torches all the right way around the fencing yet. And a lot of the fencing is not double fenced yet. As well as there are a lot of dark areas in here, which need to be illuminated with torches in order to prevent mobs from spawning here like this zombie on top of the roof. Um, but we have made incredible progress thus far and we have a lot of livestock here. The last thing that we were able to finish is this barn where we are transferring the livestock into to help better keep them safe from mobs. As you can see, this area is a huge hotspot. There's just tons and tons of mobs everywhere, day and night. It was quite the effort uh, fencing this in last night because we were fighting off mobs constantly while trying to build. So I am just absolutely stunned at the amount of progress that we made. This is the only house that really needed renovation in the village. As you can see, we still have um, some work that needs to be done on this cute little house in order to make it match the other houses in the village. Um, this whole front part here was blown off by a creeper attack and all of this land right here was a giant hole that we had to fill in. So we are still making progress on the renovations with the village, but slowly but surely we will get there. I'm also amazed that we got so lucky that there was a thunderstorm. Oh my God, I'm being shot at. And we managed to get all four of the bony ponies. There's one of them still here. We took the other three back with us to the main fortress base in order to keep them safe as this area is really not very safe with all of the mobs that spawn here, especially because this is huge creeper territory, which means that they're at risk for being blown up. We are making more efforts to have more safety around this village and we are going to be doing a lot more building around here with a lot more buildings just because this is going to be a pretty big main hub. And as y'all can see, this is the incredible bridge that Sally has been working on. As you can see, she's already made incredible progress on this bridge and double fenced a lot of it in. It extends out so, so far, y'all. Uh, Brianna explored it for me last night while I was building some stuff and we found out, as you can see, it goes all the way out there, disappears into the horizon. It goes to another village. Sally has just been an incredible pioneer for us, discovering new villages and building these bridges to the new villages. So we have so many more villages to renovate like this one, but you know, one at a time. But it is amazing the explorer that Sally has become. I am just, oh, I am so excited, y'all. We are just finding out everyone's talents and just working together as just this incredible little community together. 
with Sally being such an explorer and Brianna being such a huge help, Taz has just become the queen of the mines and especially with bulk resources. She is just absolutely incredible with that. And of course, I am the queen of infrastructure. I am just so here for building these fences and restoring the villages and just making things a whole lot safer. So, and, oh, how could I forget? Taz is also the queen of interior decorating. Just absolutely incredible at that. And let's not forget Sally's awesome contribution of building that gorgeous barn back at the fortress base. So yeah, we are so excited to be working on this village together. I can't wait to see how beautiful it'll be when it is completely renovated. If you're interested in playing on the server with us and being a part of our community, the only requirement is that you must be a subscriber on my official Twitch channel. The rules are very simple, be kind and courteous, that means no griefing, respect people's personal belongings, that means we each have our own room in the fortress base and each room is labeled with the person's name, so obviously don't steal anything that's inside of someone's room. We have an entire area dedicated to communal resources that everyone is welcome to. And of course, please do ask before doing any major changes to any existing buildings. And of course, have fun! Oh, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. We still have a lot of work ahead of us, but I am so proud of the progress that we've made thus far. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe. And of course, be sure to follow and turn on notifications on my Twitch channel so you know when it's time to play. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.